right now on to the next story let me tell you something right now <laughs> listen we got? Uh, listen you already know we got 7.5 million in marijuana seeds from cotton candy shipment at the texas mexico border i'm high off of the off of the uh title <laughs> listen these boys are not playing at all and you know they bring it in through laredo and if anybody doesn't know where laredo is at, it is right on the border of it mexico is. and texas okay okay it's gonna be some some sad weed smokers in the next couple of months because it's about to be drought season with all that weed they just caught Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you 7.5 do you see the money look at the money and oh, they took 931 thousand well they did they what you don't see this they seized over nine hundred and thirty thousand dollars in money too plus yes. the weed. man let me tell you so it was a bad day it, it, it was a bad day listen okay let's go ahead and get in there how does it relate to truck drivers because we already know it was a <laughs> truck driver bringing it in a search of the trailer by a k-19 a non-intrusive inspection system led to the discovery of the narcotics. Oh my goodness, Whoa. they said it was non-intrusive, so it didn't have to go down like that. It did not have to go down. Let me tell you something right now. There is a drug lord. I don't know if this was El Chapo. Right. I don't know who this was, but I listen, if you, you took my 7.5 million, now again, that's retail. Now wholesale, I don't know how much it cost them to make it, I don't know, you know. I don't, it doesn't cost a lot to make that. <laughs> well, listen, I, I don't know, but if it was seven point five worth back to me, you know, hey, that's yeah, a that's a that you know, that's a, a, basically you it's uh what's that they call it with the retail stores? Uh Target said that they had like six million dollars in block uh six hundred million, yeah. Yeah, million. It's not profit and loss, but what are that they call that? I mean, that's a loss. That <laughs> <laughs> that's a loss. This is just a loss. This is right. But listen, though, they took $930,000 as well. Man, listen, that was a bad day. Can you imagine? That Can you was imagine good, being light? Somebody, for the feds, though. How, oh, look, well, listen, it, I guess it was a great day for the feds, you know, but it was a bad day for the, the cartel or whoever else was involved because they done, they done, they done made you 900000 lighter. 7.5 million marijuana seeds. I mean, man, this is crazy. Now the truck driver, where did, I guess the 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 the, uh, the 900 grand was in the shipment. But my thing is this: when you think about people shipping drugs into America, uh -huh. you will want to believe they're just shipping the drugs. So Toya, what what would they be shipping in the money with it for? Also. Yeah, that's a great. Well, it depends. It was coming from Mexico into here, America. so into America. He bringing the weed. He gonna get more money. That's I, hey. Listen, it's out of my tax bracket. I don't know. What's what's the like, what is that about? <laughs> right? It's like what did what did they bring? I mean, maybe the guy owed him some money, or he was like, "Hey, man, I'll front you a little, you know, something. Just bring it back." I don't know. They shipping money and drugs. Hey, and think about we, this. Yeah, this is U.S. Think about this. This is U.S.D. That's coming into America now. You would have thought that came in pesos. No, they shipping USD back into America. So that should let you know who's ever sending that money. They got crazy bread to ship right, a million dollars. Right. Basically, shipped a million dollars into America. Like, yeah, man, put it on the back of the truck. I'll get it later. Or hey, I, my cousin, huh? I got a question. Yeah, what's that? How much cotton candy does it take? To hide $7.5 million. Now, why did they pick cotton candy? I have no idea. Maybe it's the smell. You know, maybe it's like, oh, we'll throw the dogs off with cotton candy. Maybe that, that that's a new one, man. These cartel, these drug lords operations, they stay so well in advance of you know trying to figure out ways to outfit right. uh, out outfit right. the feds, right? That right. it's just absolutely insane that you know they ship all of this in cotton candy. Absolutely. Well, what I had heard, you know, I had heard that there's there there's a a, a marijuana that that's called cotton candy. So okay. maybe there's correlation as to maybe so. why maybe. they call it that now. You know, so. bubble gum too. I want to do they. You know, we might find a ship it with some bubble gum wrapped around it. You just never know. Never know. All right, cool. <laughs>